Hey everyone, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing a very special pair of vintage Ray-Ban Bosch & Lam Outdoorsman Aviator Frames. These are special because they have Ray-Ban's Diamond Hard Scratch Protection System. This system is really, really special and it is actually 10 times harder than traditional glass lenses. But first, let's talk about the dimensions of these frames. These are the standard size with 58 millimeter lenses in a 14 millimeter bridge. Now these frames, because they were made by Bosch & Lam, they have not been produced for over 25 years. So these are definitely getting harder to find, but these were actually a part of a Ray-Ban Bosch & Lam's Survivor Collection. So they made a ton of different frames with these lenses. So to learn more about these lenses, let's go ahead and read the pamphlet that was shipped with every pair of these sunglasses uh, when they were brand new. So it says Ray-Ban uh, Survivor Collection. It says Diamond Hard Scratch Protection System. 10 times harder than ordinary glass. Congratulations, you are now the owner of a pair of Ray-Ban Survivor sunglasses featuring diamond hard scratch protection system. This system uses an advanced ion beam deposition technology, which applies a surface of amorphous diamond, making your glass lenses 10 times more resistant to scratches. The lenses are also hydrophobic, shedding water more easily. This property reduces water spots and makes cleaning easier. So your sunglasses are perfect for the beach. This technology was originally developed by NASA and is exclusive to Bosch and Lam sunglasses. So definitely some really interesting information here in the little pamphlet about these lenses. Now, probably one of the coolest things about these lenses is the little diamond logo next to the Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the lens. That's going to be found in every pair of authentic uh, sunglasses that have Ray-Ban's diamond hard scratch protection system. And just looks really, really cool. I remember the first time I saw this logo like 15 years ago, I was like, whoa, what's that? And then I was first introduced to kind of the, you know, vintage Ray-Ban world just because of this little diamond logo on the lens. I think it still looks really good. Uh, and I really, really, really do wish that Ray-Ban would bring it back. However, I do not believe that Ray-Ban is actually capable of ever making this system again. And that's because when Bosch & Lam sold Ray-Ban off, they just sold the brand name. They didn't sell basically any of the patents or any of the lens technology that Bosch & Lam actually owned the rights to. So like the diamond hard scratch protection system that was owned by, of course, a Bosch & Lam and not by Ray-Ban. So Luxottica actually never got the formulas never got any of the uh, even licensing. I don't even think they legally could make a diamond hard uh, pair even if they wanted to because they don't own the licensing to it either. So we're probably never ever going to get a pair of Ray-Bans uh, with the diamond hard scratch protection system and because of that you're going to have to buy a vintage pair which are going to be quite expensive because uh, they are definitely pretty desirable amongst collectors. Now as far as the frame quality themselves go these are built exceptionally well. I believe that vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses were built a lot better than the modern ones. The build quality is just better across the board. And then of course, all the lens technology that Bosch & Lam did uh, back with their vintage Ray-Bans as well, is just absolutely incredible and definitely better than modern Ray-Ban sunglasses in my personal opinion. Now, as far as the exact colorway that I have in today's video, these have Ray-Ban's gold frames uh, with their black sweat bar here up at the top. And then as far as the lens color here goes, these are actually just a traditional uh, Ray-Ban G15 gray lens, which of course is going to block 100% of UVA and UV rays, which are extremely important for your eye health. And they're going to block 85% uh, of visible life. That's the name G15. And this is just the standard standard uh, basically G15 lens with this beautiful kind of gold silver metallic coating to the lenses. This uh, coating is actually the uh, diamond hard scratch protection system itself. Uh, so that's actually what you're looking at. And you're actually looking at diamonds. You're literally looking at diamonds and looking through diamonds when you're looking at a pair of these lenses, which makes them so, so, so special. But as far as the outlook, it's going to look very similar to a vintage Ray-Ban uh, G15 glass lens. It's not going to be anything too crazy. It's not really going to increase the colors or the contrast or the clarity. It's just a standard non-polarized G15 lens with this absolutely beautiful, beautiful coating. Now, as far as how good the Diamond Hard Scratch Protection System actually performs, from what I'm hearing from the leading experts of vintage uh, Ray-Ban sunglasses, in my own personal opinion as well, 
These are probably about maybe five times uh, more scratch resistant than uh, all glass lenses. Uh, they're definitely not 10 times. Again, there's no real way to easily measure this without, I guess, doing like a side-by-side -side test and actually scratching the lenses. Uh, but they're definitely going to be very, very scratch resistant, but you're still going to be able to get scratches in these frames. Definitely don't treat them like they're not gonna be able to get scratches at all. They definitely, definitely will. So you still have to be careful uh, with these frames as far as scratching goes. And another thing to note here is uh, Ray-Ban diamond hards that do get scratches on them are going to be dramatically worth a lot less money uh, than a pair that is perfectly clean. Once you get some you know, pretty heavy scratching on them, it completely defeats the purpose of having the diamond hard logo when there are visible scratches. So because of that, the market for frames with scratches is super cheap. You can get them really, really cheap. And then the market for uh, pristine examples are very, very expensive. So there's definitely a pretty big range uh, as far as that goes here. And it definitely makes sense. I wouldn't want a pair of these frames with scratches on them at all. Because uh, again, it just defeats the purpose of having the diamond hard logo and diamond hard lenses if you do have scratches. Now, as far as the looks go, I personally love these lenses. I think they look really, really, really good. Just very, very pretty and nice. And I think it uh, works really good with these frames as well. Now, another thing to mention here, I don't believe that Ray-Ban ever released the diamond hard uh, of lenses in a traditional aviator frames. All of them were deep groove and outdoorsman in frames like that. So I do not believe you can get a pair of like normal looking uh, vintage uh, Bosch and Lam aviators with these frames. If you want a pair, you're going to have to go with the deep groove frames. Of course, you can swap them out uh, to a traditional aviator frame, but just something that I figured would be worth mentioning here on this video. Now also every pair of Ray-Bans uh, Survivor Series came with a special case that says a uh, Ray-Ban and then Diamond Hard Scratch Protection System here on the actual case itself, which is just another really special uh, feature of these frames. Just really nice and, and Ray-Ban really took a lot of care uh, back in the day with all their different releases by making special cases and things like that. Now as far as spotting fakes go, I do want to mention a couple security features on these frames. Number one of course is going to be the Diamond Hard a logo here on the lens and it's gonna look just like that if it looks any bit off or any bit kind of like like pan painted on it's going to be uh, not authentic they also do have these oversized nose rests as well so you can see they are bigger than the average pair of Ray-Ban aviator frames so oversized and then through them we can see a little BL logo there as well and then if we take a look at the top ridge of the frames we can see they say uh, B&L uh, Ray-Ban USA and then on the lower bridge we can see it says BL Ray-Ban 5814, which of course stands for the lens size and the bridge width of these frames. And we also want to take a look here at the outside left and right of the lenses. We're going to see a little uh, B and L logo there for authentication purposes as well. And then here on the outside of the deep groove uh, temples, we can see the little etched Ray-Ban logo there as well. And that's found in both the left and the right hand temple. It's going to be pretty hard to see, but it definitely is there. And then the last and most important thing here is going to be the color of the lens and the mirror on them. So here we can see some beautiful golden kind of silver reflections because they do have this mirroring on top and it's just gonna look absolutely beautiful. Now, if you see any pair that claims to be a diamond hard a Ray-Ban and has, you know, bright flash orange or, or blue or any color other than these, it is gonna be non-authentic 100% of the time. There has never been any pair of uh, diamond hard frames with any uh, lens color other than this as far as the fronts go. Now they do make a B15 and a G15 lens. So as far as the color uh, when looking through them, there is going to be a brown one. Uh, but of course, as far as the actual look through the front goes, there is only this one color. Uh, so definitely keep that in mind as far as the front uh, mirror goes. It's going to look like this and like this only. Now, for those of you wondering the exact model number of these frames, it is W1506. And that has the cable temples as well, which personally are very uncomfortable for my ears. They, they kind of just dig in right there behind the ear at a very, very uncomfortable uh, spot for me. So I definitely don't prefer these uh, with the cable temples. However, the cable temples are gonna be extremely, extremely practical, and you do not have to worry about these sunglasses slipping off the face. You can be riding a motorcycle or an ATV or, or a convertible, and you're never gonna have to worry about these flying off your face no matter what direction your head is against the wind. It's gonna be really, really good and practical, but again, they definitely dig in here behind the ear, so they're not very 
very comfortable uh, for me and that's why I definitely prefer the traditional uh, temple tips uh, on a pair of the sunglasses. Now as far as the hydrophobic coating goes, these work really, really good. So it's super, super easy to take a cleaning cloth and just remove all the oils and all the water and all the dirt very, very, very easily. It's gonna basically just wash off, absolutely incredible. And this technology is not even applied to modern uh, G15 Ray-Ban sunglasses, for example. Uh, so these are gonna be much easier to clean than even a modern pair, uh, which again is really, really impressive. All the technology that these frames had even 25 years ago. Overall, this is a really, really fantastic pair of lenses. I really do love these a lot. I do really, really like the, the beautiful colors and then also the logoing and the branding. And this is just kind of like one of the quintessential uh, vintage Ray-Ban frames in my opinion with the Diamond Hard logo. It really doesn't get much better than that when it comes to collecting uh, vintage Ray-Ban sunglasses. Now, as far as pricing goes, a completely brand new pair of Diamond Hards are going to run you at least $800 to $1,000 and a pair of very nice, not scratched up, are going to run you $450 to about $600. And that's about the price range that you'd expect when you're buying from a verified uh, dealer like ShadeReviewStore.com or VintageSunglasses.com or somebody like that. Uh, when you go to like, you know, popular auction websites, you definitely might be able to find good deals on them but it's getting harder and harder to find a good deal on these frames. People kind of know what they have now. And because of that, it is extremely hard to find a good pair of these frames for cheap on those popular auction websites. But overall, it is just a simply beautiful pair of frames. And uh, yeah, I really do like it a lot. If you own a pair of vintage uh, Ray-Bans uh, with the Diamond Hard Scratch Protection System, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you have to say about them. And also, if you own a pair, let us know what you think about it in the comment section down below. I'd love to start a conversation there. But that's all I got for guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time about a brand new video just like this one to our YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.